Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here today with my June TBR uh, because I had an interview this morning and I wasn't going to let all of this go to waste. Normally I am makeupless and in clothes that have seen better days or um, having just come home from school so I'm exhausted but look I do clean up nice sometimes. Uh, that is neither here nor there though. It is June the 2nd. I have three books for sure that I'm going to be reading this month and then the rest of these I'm not going to tell you anything but the title and the author. Um, I may or may not get to them. I probably will add other things to the TBR along the way, um, but I had 32 books left over from my middle grade um, physical TBR. Yes, 32. No, 30. 30, because I read one of them. And two of them are technically YA books, so like 28 physical middle grade books that I own that I have not read yet. Uh, so... Those are the ones that I have on my actual TBR, just a continuation of middle grade May, and then um, we'll move on from there. But the books I am most definitely reading this month are Hello from Wren Lake by Michelle Weber Hurwitz. I have been saying for the last week, if I would just sit down and read it, I could finish it in an hour, uh, maybe a little more, but... I'm loving it so much that I'm finding myself finding reasons to not finish the book. Um, I'm concerned about what's about to happen to the lake. It, it's a whole thing. Um, but have you ever done that? You just have a book that you're enjoying so much, you're finding other things to do so that you elongate the process. Mm -hmm. That is where we're at right now. I'm also going to read Trixie Belden and the Red Trailer Mystery by Julie Campbell. This is book two in the Trixie Belden series. I read first the first book during March Mystery Madness as a read-along, and then I kept saying, I'm going to read the second book in middle grade May, and I never did. Now, I've read the book multiple times. I know I love the book. It is what it is. Um, a book that I don't have a physical copy of, I think I'm going to try to get it from the library, but I do have it on ebook format, um, is our very first classic children's literature book club book and that is Stuart Little by E.B. White. Um, the reason I do this is because we are reading classic children's literature and then looking at the author, like their life, what they had to say about the book and the book itself and discussing whether or not we think it is actual children's literature or if it really should be in the fairly newly formed middle grade genre. And uh, we have a Goodreads group, so it is called Classic Children's Lit uh, Book Club. Uh, so you can find us over there. I will link it down below. I will be making videos at the end of every month discussing the author and then the chats that we had in the Goodreads group. I would love for you guys to join in if you want to. That would be amazing. Um, if you don't want to join in this month, we will have a new book every month. And sometimes if they're shorter books, we may decide um, to do two in the month. But I think right now we're just going to read at our own pace in the first three weeks of June and then at the end of June do a video. I don't think I can do a live discussion. I haven't figured that out yet. But I'm very, very excited to get this started. It makes my little heart happy. Uh, so anyway, those are the three books I know 100% for sure I'm going to read this month. I'm actually going to make it four books. The second in the Penderwick series, uh, Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books is doing a read-along of the Penderwicks. And I believe we're reading book two this month. So Elena and I will be reading that together as well as Mortal Coil, book five in the Skullduggery Pleasant series. So five books I'm definitely reading this month. But that leaves me so much more room. Um, like I said, I'm just going to go very quickly through this stack of books. Uh, we're deep cleaning, so I've got a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. It'll be easier just to go. Ta-da! Um, those are all the physical books on my middle grade TBR right now. So... 
I've got The Mirror Wood by Diva Fagan. Book four in the Nancy Springer Anola Holmes mystery series, and that is The Peculiar Pink Fan, which I keep saying I'm going to read and I still haven't. The Lord of the Nutcracker Men by Ian Lawrence. The Root of Magic by Kathleen Benner. I don't know if that's double or double, but that one. The Very, Very Far North by Dan Barrell, which looks absolutely adorable. Moon Pie and Ivy by Barbara O'Connor. The Guggenheim Mystery, which is a single sequel to The London Eye Mystery by Robin Stevens. I haven't read The Robin Eye. The Robin Eye. Good grief. The London Eye Mystery. Um, but I've been told I can do that one without reading the other one. Um, Gordon Corman's The Unteachables. Love Gordon Corman. The Escape from Atlantis by Kate O'Hearn. The Violin Case Case by Diantha Warfel. Some of these I've had on several TBRs and I haven't gotten to, and I'm going to try to prioritize. prioritize. Y'all, I think I used all of my good speaking in the interview today, and I really don't think I spoke all that well in that either, but that's fine. The Boy, the Wolf, and the Stars by Siobhan Plaza. Shizuku's Daughter by Kyoko Mori. The Next Great Polly Fink by Ali Benjamin. Ali Benjamin wrote The Thing About Jellyfish, which is one of my favorite middle grade books I've ever read. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, the Unforgettable Logan Foster by Sean Peters. I Heard the Owl Call My Name by Margaret Craven. Jack and the Geniuses Lost in the Jungle by Bill Nye the Science Guy and Gregory Monet. This is the third in a trilogy. But I have it on good authority that I can read this one and not be confused. So I'm going to do that and hopefully find the other two. As a side note, Elena and I and the little one have been watching Domino Masters. We watched the entire series on Hulu. We finished it yesterday. Now we're very sad that there's not a second season yet. However, one of the semifinals was Science Night and Bill Nye came in and like guest judged. And I got all excited. They were like, Bill Nye the Science Guy. And I went, Bill, 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 Bill. And Elena says, who is this guy? Did he have a show or something? Girl, what? I know you've had science class. You don't know who Bill Nye is? I was shook. So now I'm going to have to find the Bill Nye the Science Guy show and let her watch some of it. Because who is this guy? I thought I had done better than that. Moving on, I've got Sammy Keys and the Search for Snake Eyes by Wendelin Van Dronen, Dranen, something. <clears throat> the In Between by Marina Cohen. The Demon Notebook by Erica McGann. Goodbye Walter Malinsky by Helen Rakorvitz. Run Boy Run by Yuri Orlev and translated by Halel Hokim. Great Escapes, Mount St. Mount Saint Helens, 1980s Fiery Eruption by Gary Thompson. Lisa Stringfellow's A Comb of Wishes. Patricia Riley Gifts, 11. Janet McDonald's Spellbound. Diana Wynne Jones's Witch Week. Figs and Phantoms by Ellen Raskin. And Robert Newman's The Case of the Baker Street Irregular. So those are the 30-ish books left. Um, I do actually have two more middle grades that I need to read. Um, the first one is Mr. Limoncello's All-Star Breakout Game by Chris Gravenstein. Um, this is number four in the series, uh, the Mr. Limoncello series. I have read the first three. But I think I'm, I'm kind of setting this back because I think I want to do a reread of the first three and then this one. And I think book five is out now as well. And I would really like to um, do a binge read just like a Chris Grabenstein month, basically. Um, I love Chris Grabenstein. I think his books are awesome. He's got several standalones that are great. A couple of series I adore. Um, so I'd love to just do like a Grabenstein month. And then the other one is The Strength of the Wolf is the Pack, which is based off of the screenplay for Disney's The Jungle Book. 
Um, and I think I want to save this because Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book is one of our children's classic books that's in the jar waiting on me to pull it out. So I kind of want to save this one to read as a... Um, words, man. All the words. Uh, a co-reading experience. So read the Jungle Book and then read the book based off the screenplay that was based off an adaptation of the original story. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I'm holding this one back to do that. But I do have those two. Um, I would love to know if you've read any of these, what your thoughts on them are. Uh, if you have read any of these, which ones do you think I will enjoy? Um, all those things. And I would love to know what you are planning to read in the month of June as well. Please consider joining us in reading Stuart Little. Join the Goodreads group. Make your comments on our videos, whatever. And let us know what you think. I can't wait to get started on this children's classic literature journey. And I'm so glad that I have some people joining me on the journey. And we would always love to have more. So if that interests you at all, please go check out the group. And I will link my announcement video down below so you can go see kind of the list I have going right now. We can always add more later. All right, guys, I will talk to you again soon. Until next time, please stay safe out there.